All right, we're here with Dr. Mike of uh, RP. You're probably familiar with Dr. Mike at this point in time. Here at the Arnold, and we've got a few questions for you. First of all, Mike, how's it going today? I haven't been arrested yet, so it's a good day. <laughs> That's all that it requires. So, a few questions for you. Um, first, could you rank the following fictional butlers? Jeeves of Ask Jeeves, yeah. Lurch of the Adams Family, uh, Alfred uh, uh, from Batman, yes. and then last one being, let me double consult my notes, Mr. Deeds Butler. Have you seen Mr. Deeds yes. Adam Sandler movie? So we're working with four butlers. Say, Rank. I mean, just on combat experience alone, Albert, um, what's it called? Batman's Butler. Batman, yeah. He's rank one. Um, because of AskJeeves.com and that retro shit, Jeeves is number two. Uh, Lurch creeps me the fuck out, but it's good for your butlers to keep you on your toes, so rank three. Yeah. Who was the other guy? Uh, what was our last one? Mr. Deeds. Never seen it. Okay. Uh, I love Adam Sandler's shit, but that movie I never saw, so fuck him. Fourth. All right. All right this next uh, next segment is actually sponsored uh, by the Arnold Bathrooms. I don't know if you've been to the Arnold Bathrooms yet, but senior <laughs> yeah. next segment's sponsored by the Arnold Bathrooms. So it's a, a role-playing segment. Are you okay with a little role-playing? Am I okay with it? <laughs> my God, man. I invented the genre. Hit it. Okay. You're my father. I'm your five-year-old bi biological son. I come home from school one day, and I want to know, what does it mean to train optimally? Well, <laughs> kid, uh, sit down here on my lap. <laughs> okay. Okay, Dad. Now, you, you, you think you know things, don't you? Well, I know a bit they teach me in school. Shut up. Yeah. Okay. You don't know anything until you get into the Arnold. Then you really need to take a dump. And uh, there's, you can't even walk to the Chipotle, it's that bad. You get to the Arnold bathroom. Now you know what real war looks like. Oh boy, were you in that war? I was in that war 10 years in a row, son. I lost many friends in that war. God damn it, it took things from me I didn't even know I had. I don't know what I'm learning here, Dad. Good. That's it. Wisdom for you young ass motherfuckers. You should really have a lot of children because uh, I think this is, would work well. The state of Michigan uh, disagreed with that <laughs> in a landmark decision against me, ironically. Okay, next question. Uh, we're from South Dakota, as you might know, maybe not. Uh, Mount Rushmore is in South Dakota. So what I would like to know... <laughs> yeah. wait, 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 wait. What else is in South Dakota if someone doesn't know where Mount Rushmore is? How do you clue it in? I was hoping that wouldn't come up here. <laughs> uh, so, what I would like to know is your Mount Rushmore of bad tasting yet macro friendly foods. Oh, jeez. Baby, what's that one ice cream type that really sucks? The diet ice cream back? Arctic Zero. Arctic Zero. No offense, Arctic Zero, folks. You make a fine product that tastes like ice cream was there before and then just ice afterwards. Somebody took the bucket away and then an ice block formed and then you, there's a scent of it somewhere. What else we got? Pure protein bars. I love them. They're great. They don't taste amazing. It's hard to sell people on them, but the macros are so fucking good. And then the, uh, the, the chicken bake from Costco. Not only is it incredible tasting, but also it has infinity good macros. And you know what? And we looked this up. I'm a scientist. I did the research. It has no bad macros. We looked and we looked. We even had a bloodhound sniff the shit. Nothing. Just amazing macros. You know what else I didn't tell you? The bloodhound that sniffed around where the chicken bake was got jacked instantly. And he inherited a deep sense of true American moral values. That's how much we're talking about this being a top tier primo food. That's it. End of list. That was three, but we're not we're not anyway, counting. My Rushmore. Four. No, let me answer. <laughs> you guys know what the fourth fucking president is? It's the fucking chicken bake again. <laughs> That's great. Uh, we appreciate your time, Dr. Mike. Uh, until our paths cross again. Do you mind putting one in the old oh, vice? <laughs> Goddamn South Dakotan sayings are getting out of control. America, let's free ourselves from South Dakotan privilege or whatever this is. Rebel. I'm never breaking this grip. <laughs> Get me out of here. <laughs> All right.